I think we've got it started, haven't we? What have we got? Yep, got sound. Hello. Yeah, you can hear me, I hope. I don't normally have much luck getting uh, Zoom going. Unmute yourself, Danny. <laughs> oh, that's what I've got to do. Can you hear me? Not big. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, I can now. Sorry about that. Hello. Just, uh, show yourself you. I'll even turn the camera on. I don't know how my camera's going to go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let me put my camera on also. Hello. Oh. Hold on. Uh, so, 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 self view. Don't normally have it set up this way, but that's all cool. Multi view. There's two of us. How's that working? Look okay. You your big, got your big Bitcoin in the back. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't use it. I'm just trying to get this so I can be a side by side view. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. You're very well set up, huh? The, the sound is, is crazy. Yeah, now I've got a professional uh, oh, oh, yeah, I see that. that. I see that. And also I've got the green screens for um, yeah. And, yeah, coming off my laptop speaker. Um, mm -hmm. I've been um, banned by Zoom because Why? I'm uh, exposing people's personal details, so I can't actually log into Zoom and set up a uh, proper... Uh, background image like you do. Oh, I see. I yeah, see. so it's the problem when you're a, a scam fighter. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been doing this uh, scam uh, venture? Oh, about three years, probably a bit over now. Three but uh, yeah, about three years, I think. So yeah, somebody introduced me to Hyperverse, and they used to um used to be a I used to own a business networking company, and I used to get mm -hmm. small to medium sized businesses together each day. And um, and then one of the members decided to get involved with Hyperverse, and that that was the rest was history. Really, then I investigated it. Oh, so, so so you were so you were involved with the Hyperverse? No, somebody was trying to introduce me to it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, thank God I never touch it. So a lot of a lot of people they approach me for Hyperverse, Hyperfund, and I smell uh, you know, I smell the scam. So thank God I stayed away. Well, I'm actually, after listening to what you said there, I'm actually really amazed that you're involved in Hyperverse, if that's the case. Because that's, Me? Well, not Hyperverse. No, I, no. Mean, I meant Boomerang. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boom, yes, Boomerang, yes. Well, mm -hmm. let me let me tell you something. Now, now let's talk as, as an adult here, okay? Yeah. First of all, last time, and I didn't, I, I'm going to tell you why I didn't appreciate your, you know, your way of entering to the Zoom, because we were waiting for Chavez that day to come and answer the questions to the community. Because we were like 30 people yeah. from our community and we were waiting for that damn meeting. But unfortunately, he never showed up. And Arno, he didn't show up because of you or he didn't show up because he was busy. But at the end of the day, he didn't show up. He didn't answer the questions. Yeah, it's been happened to and all meetings. What, it's been happened to all meetings. To be honest, that's that's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. that's what I heard. I heard that the, the three last meetings before us didn't show up. So, and I, I didn't like it because listen, I'm not here to just scam people because I was there because I want to bring Chavez to the community to the leaders to answer the questions. And all the leaders, they were waiting for him, you know, because they were ready to ask their questions and he has to answer those questions. But unfortunately, we were fighting with you. You're trying to come and, you know, the whole mess. But at the end, the, you, you, <laughs> he didn't show up and the whole thing fell apart. And at the, again, we missed the opportunity for Chavez to come. And that. believe me, I would love to have all the answers. And the minute or the second that I see that this is not kosher 100%, I will not be part of the business. Trust me, there's a lot of companies. You, you do yes. say that, though, but you, I don't think you really mean what you say. Do you, do you believe in ethics in business? Absolutely. Do you think and I'm going to show... Okay. No, no, Danny, but you, let me, let me you, show you... You, you want to show me... What make, you, no, yes, what, no, exactly. I'm, I'm going to show you facts. Yeah, I know, but... I, not I, only I, for you, me. 
I asked you if you if you um, value ethics, and you said yes, but now you want to show me facts. But did you yes, read absolutely. those? Did you read those claims that Chavez has made over the last twelve months? Yes, I agree with you, hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. I agree with you 100%, but again, however, when you listen however, to you him, still want to, sh uh, this is what I, I struggle with. You still want to show me facts rather than think about ethics. So you, you're bypassing ethics and you go, let's forget the ethics. Okay. Let's see if he's oh, doing okay. real let arbitrage me, trading. No, no, let me, gonna... no, no. Let, me let, let me explain something. There is two things. When you say about ethics and about Chavez promised many things and didn't deliver. I agree with you 100%. And we told him many, many times. He's not, and I can tell you right now, he's one of the best tech provider but as, as a CEO, as a manager. We told him in his face. And, uh, and I can repeat it many, many times. Again, he's not a good manager. Let's put it this way. And he told us too, he said, listen, I'm not the best manager because as you know, all the tech people, they're not necessarily a good business manager. Let's put it this you way. You know, just, just what you're saying there. Remember, I have looked mm. at probably 500 Zoom meetings and everything mm -hmm. I hear people like yourself tell me is all regurgitated content, content that's come out of Chavez's leaders or his mouth. So everything you just said, he is actually, just imagine that you're in a religious cult and the cult leader is Chavez and he's brainwashed you into, in the, because you haven't said anything original. Everything you just said, I've gone into the Portuguese meeting just this morning and they're saying the same things that he's spilling out. He, he, I've heard him mm -hmm. say that numerous times that he's not good at this and his strength is this, my team, my development team, but there's no proof of that other than Chavez saying so. <laughs> Listen, again, to be honest with you, if I tell you that I've seen his tech team, I would be a liar. I will, no, I don't think anybody saw his tech team, but we listen to him. And again, between you and me, you think Chavez alone can do and build all this ecosystem? I can I don't think so. But he has, has to have his has he built an ecosystem? <coughs> Well, look, he, he's told you that, this no, no, he, he's told you that he has, and so you don't doubt it because you see money no. going into people's MetaMask wallets, and that's, well, that's then, the only then, then, got. Okay, okay. Between you and me, you want to tell me that the the BTC twenty blockchain is not there? You want to tell me that the whole oh. ecosystem behind well, BTC twenty is so, not there? No, no. You said the BTC twenty blockchain network isn't there. We where is it? Where is it? What do you mean, where is it? It's not on the blockchain. It is a bit. No, it's not on the blockchain. No one can get any money yeah. out of it. No. Believe me, I spoke to top, 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 top tech engineers. Yeah. And they told me and they certified that his blockchain exactly the way he described it. Let me show you. Is, uh, we can go, let me show we can you go where together he, now. Let me show yes, you no. where he got his blockchain from. Can you screen share? Sure, sure, sure. Hold on. Let me give you the okay. Right. So you, you might be surprised here. Now, have you okay. have you followed um uh H cash? Who H cash? Uh, mm, no, yeah. I don't think so. Okay, so the blockchain that um okay, so this this blue screen here that you see, yes, who's that? That's the BTC20 blockchain. Okay. So, oh, do we? Yep. Okay. So, what blockchain is this? No, it's not. No, unfortunately, it's not. It's actually H caches. So you've got, um, you've got. Uh, I'll just see if I can get this right. Um, now I've got the wrong one. So this one here. So if I go to so that what color that purple one's the one you're looking at at the moment, isn't it? I'll just see if I can get uh, so that purple one. So you're looking at the purple one. Which one is yeah. Okay. Who who's this one? Who's this one then? Right, and do you know who owns that? 
diverse, diversal. So diversal was the dregs of hyperverse and hcash. So th it's identical to Chavez's claim network that he's got nothing to do with. We're going to have a fun with you, but we're going to get there, mate. I'm, no, it's not. I'll show you. I'll put it in the chat window so you can bookmark this. I'll, actually, what I'll do is I'll keep a log and we'll go through. So my engineers are very clever people. So the first one is actually we have proven that it's connected um, to – they're all they're both connected, put it that way. And they're both connected – Yes. Yeah. No, no, he's not. Do you know he's also promoting? No, he's also promoting Trade Eleven. Oh, I do because if you go look at it next time you see him on a screen share, have a look at his browser tabs. He's got Trade Eleven um, on there. Um, as Trade Eleven is another arbitrage trading platform, so it's it's the um, you know it, it, it's tricky because uh, <laughs> you know like I just do this all day long, uh, and I I know you might need a bit of time to catch up, but I'm sure if we spend the time together, you would not um, you would not even doubt that this isn't real. I mean, for example, I'm just showing you there that Hcash was originally set up by um, Ryan Jew. And we've been watching, that's the same software that Ryan Jew was promoting Hyperverse with. And then you've got Chavez who comes along claiming that his DAP is independent and he's created what you were looking at there, the BCT20 thing. It's built on the same software. And when Ryan, uh, when Sam Lee was here, he was working out of a building in Dubai. And we, we had Garrett Blakely. You, have you heard of him? Garrett, um, Garrett Blakely. Yep. So I, I spent three or four hours talking to him on the phone, and I can ring him up and talk to him right now. He used to work in the same offices with Sam Lee and, and Chavez. So he's currently, um, Sam Lee is trying to um, take him to court, and I've got um, cases pending. And we've also got, I'm not involved with them, but Roy Canarcher. And they're going after hyperverse people and they're claiming that they've got court dates and the like. Um, so he has told me that they're all working out of the same building and there's 400 staff working in this building. Those 400 people, Sam Lee has done a press release claiming that the president of the UAE had released 500 prisoners to his care and they were meant to be Tully communicating experts. It's, you know, and then we've got. I've got a lady by the name of Stacy who's involved in human trafficking, who's given me 200 videos of people being beaten up in human uh, human trafficking centres. And we've also got um, people heavily connected, like Ryan Jew is meant to be connected with the human compounds, the human trafficking compounds. Now, there's Sam Lee claiming that he's had 500 prisoners released to his care. And now um, somebody who's working in the building has been feeding us information, telling us they're all working out of the same building, producing scam after scam. So Vidilook Vedal Services was meant to be an import company importing um, furniture-like items. That was what Vidilook was meant to be set up on. And when Sam, um, basically, it was a Ponzi scheme, more money went out for a seven-day period than came in, so the Ponzi scheme automatically shut down. And then, yep. So then we got fifty-five thousand dollars that got transferred from Sam Lee to Garrett. He was getting paid five thousand dollars a month to be a consultant for Vidilook, and also he was owed forty thousand dollars in commissions for promoting Vidilook to his networks. Sam Lee, after the company had gone bankrupt. We've got a transaction of fifty-five thousand dollars coming out of the same super wallet address that all the money's been going into with Viddy Look. Uh, what I'm not trying to say is who's who's to blame or whatever. What I'm saying is we're watching the transactions. We've got the crypto uh, tracking. You know, we can see these transactions happening, and we also have the wallet addresses where it did happen. Garrett 
at the moment is basically trying to work with Roy Kanacha to go after Sam. There's a newspaper clipping a wee while ago how Sam's business partner has been locked up and beaten up, raped in prison. And his wife has also been raped. And, and that was in the Guardian newspaper. That is because of the connections that Sam Lee actually has in Dubai because of some of the, the um, this is all rumours, but some of the, the princesses or whatever, they are connected to Sam Lee. Yep. So Sam's fallen away, and Sam started up We Are All Satoshi, and I've got the video of him basically being kicked out by the community of 135 people in it, and then all of a sudden Sam steps aside and leaves $4.2 million in the Vault Horizon, lets Chavez come in and be the new owner of it, and Chavez claims that he put the money in the Vault Horizon into, um, oh, what am I trying to say? So he claims that he's put the money in the Vault Horizon into Casher Bank. And that's where all the money has actually gone, if you know what I mean. And, and, and probably you know the story again. And I'm going to tell you where and when I got involved with Boomerang. Remember... I was also involved in Videlook and I lost a lot of money with Videlook. Yep. And when Sally scammed everyone, thank God, just before he scammed everyone, he launched the We Are All Satoshi platform. And he said, while we are waiting for the money to come from Videlook, let's create a system that will at least give some money to the community. That's why they create both. Okay, what, about the, what about the KYC details? wasn't 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 uh, you know mandatory for that at okay, that time so who owns stable deo assembly right and the, everyone had to sign up for stable opinion to use the kyc details to create an account on we are all satoshi yeah yes that's that's correct but that was at the beginning my friend after that was no no kyc or whatsoever yeah, everyone so, can, they, can, can, yeah, so what happened to all those people's details Okay, now the question, the question, when 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 Sam Lee tried to save Videlook, because he was taking the money from Waz, we are all Satoshi, if you remember the, the staking 2%, blah, 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 every day, was making good money. So he was taking money to help or to give the money to, you know, to the, to the, to the, what's called, the Videlook uh, leaders. And didn't help the situation. That's why, that's why Chavez back then, and I remember correctly, Chavez separated himself from, from Sam. And then he said, you know what? You keep video look for yourself, but I'm going to take care of Satoshi. Did they, we are all Satoshi. It does not sound right. I remember, I, I remember, I remember my friend very, very well. All right. So look at, at this. the right. beginning. So uh, remember, I've done 1,500 videos, and I've been following Sam Lee. And now, okay, so let's say there was $4.2 million in the Vault Horizon. Now, Chavez said that he was going with Tammy Jackson and Gobi, that they were going to um, invest that money into cash a bank, and they were going to pay 3% dividends per month from a bank that was paying 36% interest per year for looking after the money. Chavez said that he was going to produce a certificate from the Casher Bank, and he was also going to put nine board of trustees uh, in charge yes. of, and that never happened. Yes, that's I agree with you, and okay, that's so why what, he had the fight with Gobi and Tammy, and that that's why they left. So who's my best friend? Gobi. He rings me up and he tells me everything. He tells me that he's trying to get um, Chavez to. Um, dissolve the money that's in the Vault Horizon so he can get the money out of it so he can pay back the community people that he introduced into um, We Are All Satoshi because he, he's, he knows it's a fraud. So he used to ring me and talk to me all the time, asking me, begging me not to do anything negative about him on the internet because he was, he was trying to trick Chavez into emptying the vault and using the money. So this this is where... This is where it goes down. So then you've got Sam Lee, who claims he's got nothing to do with Hyperverse. Here, this video here was him starting up Hyperverse again, trying to do a call out to the VIP members. The, these videos were with Shavi, uh, or I call him Shavi, but um, you've got Shavis 
in here, Sam Lee and Gobi all working as one. They're in Dubai together. And they are claiming that they've had 500 prisoners released to their care. Um, you know, some of these aren't relevant. But th these are where um, Sam was doing these videos where he was throwing the water over himself, encouraging people to sign up for Vidilook. Yeah. No, and there is another program again he launched after video. I don't remember. Yeah, VAV. So I've been. VAV, which yeah, is I've, another scam. Yeah, of course. But now I've been in the newspaper with Guardian newspaper talking about VAV. There's a lady called Vera here in Australia who lost $100,000 to Hyperverse, VAV, uh, We Are All Satoshi, and Diversal, and also done some crypto shares. Now, she, we've got a video of Yvonne Henry signing up a couple to give away $100,000 of their superannuation funds, um, you know, with Sam Lee sitting there doing a promising note, you know, and these, all these videos that we have been capturing. So this, this video here is the video I was talking about where Sam Lee's sitting here trying to talk to the leaders. Um, I don't know if you probably won't be able to hear that. So that's, that's him. And I'm busted into this meeting. And we've got 135 people in here. And this is where Sam mm -hmm. actually says that we can start another scam. So this is Sam. Uh, so this is what he says. I don't know if you can hear this, but let's give it a go. Oh, so what's happening there? But um, so did you hear that? Yeah, I know the guy is fucking nuts. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But this is this is Sam Lee admitting that they're they're creating scam after scam. I know, and that's so. Remember, I think I think you were on one of these meetings when I told him. I said, "Listen, you're the the biggest scammer I've ever seen," and yeah, they but, lost money with him. <laughs> but Chavez at this time uh, is actually working for Sam. Yes, at that time, but after when they when they had you know the fight between the two to two of them, now again, only God knows the truth, hundred percent. We're just speculating here. Well, According no, we're not, the, we're not speculating because I can look, mate. When I come here before, I I went to open up. Like you want to go and look at the truth. I get that. So let's just open up all Chavez's uh, contracts and have a look at them. So I'm literally. Um, if I go to the first one, um, I'll just get this. So we've got every one of their wallet addresses. So this was the first one that was, this was created 40 days ago. And this was the wallet address that was created just before they did the release of the reopening of, um, oh, how about this one here? Does that work? Okay, so this is the portfolio with nothing in it. And this was opened 40 days ago. And then you go into the transactions here, and you can see that five minutes ago, six minutes ago, whatever ago. And then we go to the next wallet. Now, this was last night. There's $4,000 in that one. There's $4,079 in that one. There's nothing in that one. Uh, there's $3,800 in, uh, oh, does that work? In that one. And if you go into the transactions here, you can actually see that six minutes and 42 seconds ago, there was a transfer done. And these wallets that you're looking at are actually paying into people's MetaMask wallet. So if I go to this wallet, uh, to this address here, this is somebody's MetaMask wallet who thinks that they're doing trading. And at the top here, we've got $31 as the magical number. Nothing's over $60 because he's made it that it's not. That's right. No, no, no. No, no, hold it a minute. You've been told it's AI. There's no proof of AI here at all. Yeah, no, 
And you are correct. Remember, this is sophisticated stuff. So the first line is actually borrowing money from Aave. There's no doubt about that. Yep. So we've we've written to Aave, and they they told us they said that as long as a smart contract's got no faults in it, they will loan money to anybody, even scammers. And it's because it. Yep. So. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's right. Yeah, and at the bottom, you see that money go back. Yeah, and did you know Did you know that when the fail trade happens, he still has to pay Aave for the loan? Whatever it is, they still have to pay for the loan, regardless whether the transaction goes through or not. Yep. Yep. And that's the only. Yeah, but don't, don't get too excited for that, mate. I mean, I've heard this speech quite a few times. Money goes out from Aave and it gets paid back. So what? What about all the transactions in the middle? What do they do? No, no. My, my credit. No, it's not arbitrage. You do a search on it. This is not arbitrage. These are These are swaps. These are swaps between exchanges. They are not arbitrage trading. There is no deficiency on this platform and that platform. There is nothing because they are actually exchanging the exact same amounts. Look, thirty. There's no money in here. There's no profit. There's no arbitrage trading going on. Now, what is actually happening? We hold it. Where is that forty-seven cents coming from? It should be coming, as you said, from the same block. No, no, no. You, you, your word said. Your word said, you you said that it's got to be come from the same block. Now, would you like me to show you where that 47 cents that people get paid thinking that's arbitrage trading is coming from? Yeah, and I'm just doing that. Smoke and mirrors, remember? There is no profit. There's th these figures in here. Whether because okay, we borrowed money from the bank and we repaid the money to the bank. So what? So what did we do with the money? You haven't answered that question, and you can't answer that question because it doesn't show you here. It does swaps between exchanges, and they're not even in order, just to confuse you even more. It swaps the same amount of money, and it just goes thirty-two cents, thirty-two dollars and forty-seven cents. Yeah. I showed, I'll show you, I'll show you right here, mate. Look, so this, this is, um, is that going to work? This here is a smart contract that was created by Chavez. Okay. And if you go into the transactions, you can see 15 seconds ago, if you add up the money between here, you will see that money goes into this, this um, person's um, polygon account here. So now I go to Polygon. I'll just, ref I don't like using Zoom because it's crap, but let's go into there. So this is the transaction that we saw. And this person is $38. And you're looking at swaps. They're just swaps. They're nothing else but swaps. They don't do anything. There's nothing clever in any of this smoke and mirror stuff. This is just here to bamboozle. And that's it. When you get down to here, that 22 cents has actually came from this super are from this smart contract, and if these are not topped up, the the um you will get the errors in the code. So every day, so in this here is four thousand fifty dollars. Okay, so I hit refresh, and it will drop down. 
Okay, we, it's gone down. He's burning through twenty thousand dollars a day at the moment. This was I did this calculation the other day. He's burning through twenty thousand dollars worth of money here every day, and this is getting paid out. So one minute ago, I go I go again. I open this window. I'll just click on that, and now you can see this one here is for thirty eight dollars again, and it's yes, he's borrowed the money from Ave. And he's just done swaps. Nothing else. You hold your mouse here. See how I've named them all? They're just swaps. They're all exactly the same figures. They don't do anything. It, this is not, there's no money profit there, mate. That, how does that 47 cents that we saw there actually get calculated? No, no, you, you, you've, you're selling, you're selling licenses for people to do arbitrage trading, and you, you, you may not understand it, but we can. There's currently seven. There's seven companies, and one of them is using the same the same smart contract that he came up with. No, he's telling. He's just telling you stuff like this. Look, you you haven't bothered to watch my videos, which is a bit ashamed. But this video here will actually show you what he's doing. And this is slightly different um, to last time, okay? So I'm just going to turn the sound off. So the, the first thing, um, so what do I do here? And you can see the screen. Okay, so this, this is my, my video that I've done with Rob, and you can show anyone this. Uh, but once again, we're going through the smart contract that he's created, and we're looking at the money that's been paid out. Now, we topped up the wallet that he has when it stopped. When, he, when everybody couldn't do arbitrage trading because he claimed there was another problem, we come along and we topped up the wallet that you're looking at. I'll just make it a bit clearer if we can. And it all the trading started to happen again. So I literally put a dollar in here. And then 85 cents was paid out. And then that person, um, we could go along and track that person. So this is the wallet. All right. So this is the wallet that, notice how it's all 0 0.1, 0 0.1. That's because it's been bled dry by all the people doing the arbitrage trading. So then we went back to the market opportunities. And I know this isn't current because I've updated the website because we fully exposed the website. But in here, you, you've got um, arbitrage trading opportunities and it tells you, you know, basically, you know, what you're going to get if you trade from this platform to that platform and then you go away and you did your trade. But if you went along to here, you can actually see that USDT and Rapmatic and Rapmatic and USDT are actually competing against each other on the same trade at the same split second of arbitrage trading. So, that's a questionable offense. Now, so what we did is we started looking through the website code. Uh, we started looking at, you know, all the failed trades that were happening and why. And we started tagging everybody in here and started watching everybody doing things. So I tagged 2,000 people in here and watched all the leaders do their trading. So now I can see that, you know, just it was actually about half an hour ago, there was a trader in there who's trying to do his 100 trades a day because he's trying to get his 30 cents out of every trade, which is a bit ridiculous. So we've got uh, a trade here of $49. Now, this is the old stuff that we've showed, and we could show you all the Boom, Boomerang Flash Loan Authority V4. That's the main wallet address. And then we watch all the other smart contracts, and at the end of the day, this person is going to get paid out 50 cents. And then we show, so we come along here, uh, and we proved basically that the 50 cents, we found the exact transaction of 50 cents in in the smart contract. 
then we went along to um oh that was something that's where the people are paying for their five hundred dollar licenses. Uh well, and then we we went into the code. Now I don't know how you are going to answer this, and I'd be interested to see. So this is the website, and we right clicked on the website, and then we started looking through the code, and we actually found where they got the um, percentages from. So those market opportunities that you saw, they were always no greater than 1.3. And the maximum was, or the minimum was 0.52. And that would display those market opportunities. And then if you went back to here, uh, whoops, I'm trying to do this fast forward style. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, yeah, well, you've already seen those, but uh, if we go back a bit more. So that's where that code generates what you see there. And as I said earlier on, you've got Ratmatic and USDT, and then you've got USD and Ratmatic on the same trade going the opposite way for different amounts. And obviously none of these trades were ever over 1.3. So it's undisputable that the code in the website was generating what you looked at. Then, then we found... And this took us two months, but we found this one line of code. And basically, if you go through and watch this one line of code, you can actually see that if somebody was to trade between $90 and $134, the percentage of that would be calculated would be 1.277. And if you come along here and you found you got wrap sand, and this line of code was 250 characters, 250,000 characters long. The minimum, if somebody traded a dollar and then they traded for, between a dollar and 46, the percentage would be 1.3. And that's why all these small trades were encouraged because they want, didn't want people to burn through and use up all their money. So they, they made it that you'd get a higher percentage. And for months, people were trading low amounts and no one was really saying, why don't we do $50,000? Because true arbitrage trading, you could chuck down $50,000 and get you know, a, a, a more money than you would trading $100 at a time. But this whole system, so then what I did is I got that line of code and we put it into a spreadsheet. Uh, I don't know if I've got it in this video. And we basically asked uh, ChatGPT to put it in a nice table. And it basically just showed uh, how that actually worked. So the website was generating the percentages, and then we could come down here, and we found um, we found people that were getting paid out ridiculous amounts of money because they had figured out that the system was um, dubious, and they were trading a dollar and getting. I think I'll find one here. Um, so we we found people that were fooling the system, and they would trade a dollar and get paid out eight hundred dollars, and we called them top trump. So you can see this guy here has done 97 cents and he's been paid out $879.90. That's because that mathematical um, figure that he's got um, actually um, it didn't quite. And then you might have noticed that Chavez made it that you couldn't do any less than $10 trades. And now he's made it that you can only click on a button and you can't actually put in how much money you want to trade. It's smoke and mirrors stuff. You're not a silly businessman. You you know this is not right. Him. He said last two weeks ago, he said two days. Last week, he said two days. He's been saying that this is a this boomerang is a Christmas present that was given on the twenty third of December two thousand twenty three. It has never delivered, and, and then people go, "Oh, but this is groundbreaking! This is groundbreaking stuff!" And we're making excuses for him. I don't, I don't, I think this is not Microsoft. This is not Apple. This is Chavez, a scammer, um, you know, who's actually working for an organization called Hypertech Group. Taken over when Sha uh, when Sam Lee has been kicked to the side, he has claimed that he was going to provide the certificate uh, of the smart contract that he's just had written. And what did he do? He gave it to who? 
he gave it to Lucky to have a look at and pulled out a ream of paper claiming that some organisation in the world thought it would be a good idea to send him a copy of his smart contract and he holds up a big ream of paper showing people this is the the audit that he's had done on the smart contract. Lucky, the technical lady. Okay, so where's the money? Where's the money from the Vault Horizon? Not that far. Let's see. Plus, what do you think of the credit card that he's going to launch? Do you think this is again a, a fake thing? I, I'm actually blown away, mate. I can't actually think. I think you're making excuses for somebody and you're living on hope. You're hoping that Chavez, um, smoking Chavez, is going to be the one <laughs> man where he gives you go and buy a $500 arbitrage trading license. And he's claiming in the this, this morning meetings, I don't know, claiming that you'd be able to buy a Rolls Royce by investing $500 when 65% of that $500 goes off to the affiliate marketing system. And you still want to believe in the Chavez who hasn't delivered anything. Now, let's let's just take it away that I all of a sudden don't know how to read anything. All my specialist guys and all your specialist guys have got it wrong and just use ethics. And, and what he says, he's making excuses what? for himself. Okay, let me let me again. You mentioned many many times, you know, uh, your fr our friend uh, Vitali, the guy from Ethereum. Remember Ethereum guy? Before he launched the thing, he had an idea. When we had the Bitcoin, this guy he said, you know what? I'm gonna launch a new blockchain. Uh, this is not. And he is not I'm not gonna get. No, I'm not that, talking about Bill Gates. No, no, no. I'm not gonna talk about Danny, Steve Jobs. Danny. And we're talking about a no, no, I'm not talking others. I don't need to listen to no. a story. He's not, he's not producing anything, mate. He's lying to you, and you're not even looking at the facts. You don't even know this yes, arbitrage thing is right. You have been told by somebody that they borrowed money from here and they repaid it here, so it must be real. And I'm showing you in real time 10 different lines of swaps that are for the exact same amount of money, and you're well, just Danny, maybe no, 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 that, that, that's not that, that's not the case. Maybe you don't know what he has. I mean, you, you've, got to, stop. He Look, mate, you've got to stop insulting my intelligence. I have been doing this for three years, 70 to 80 hours a week. I know my shit. And I, I know okay. I have been watching him okay. since the beginning with Sam Lee. Sam Lee has got a arrest warrant out for him for 1.9, his connection to a $1.9 billion scam. Chavez used to work for Sam Lee. You cannot deny it. What the hell is Chavez working for Sam Lee for? If he's not connected to the big scam and all working out of the same building, all of a sudden, Charlotte yeah. has now become an angel and started up his own company. And all this shady shit that he's been doing from the beginning is pushed to the side. And you're sitting there worshiping Charlotte like he's a god. Wake up. Okay, Danny, calm down, calm down. You probably know Chavez before me. I don't know this guy before. I know him only when this fucking. Samly introduce him to the community. Oh, look, if when Chavez we lost goes, our money. If Chavez goes, I'll bring another puppet out and you'll make excuses for him. <laughs> they're puppets, Listen. mate. This is a criminal look. network of human trafficking. And they're why is all the money on the platforms being taken off to Binance? All the money has been moving in bricks. They're washing the money on the blockchain and they're taking it off the Binance. Why are they taking the money out? of the super ad wallet address of We Are All Satoshi and Boomerang, and why are they moving it off to Binance wallets that you cannot track? Why are they doing that to the money? For security. Where's the money going? Who knows? He knows. Well, he does not know. He does not know. It's just a scam, mate. And all you guys are hanging out there hoping you're going to get paid percentages for selling these packages.
No, no, no. I'm not. Uh, can I tell you something? I'm not here to make fucking peanuts on selling. Well, you're not going to make I'm much not, money at thirty cents a bloody no, transaction I, on a fucking I spend, no, train, no, are you? Okay, okay, Danny, Danny, please hear me out. I spend my own money, and my friend also spend their own money, and we are here. You're too to invested then. Collect eh? our money. You're too we invested. Invested our money. You're too invested then. You can't pull out because you've invested too much. You're too invested in the project that you can't pull out. It's like being at the no, casino. It's, not that. it's like being at okay. the casino losing okay. your money. Let me ask you a question. Okay, let me ask you a question. You are a smart guy. Okay, you are a smart person. What you do, if you have two options, what you do, you spend money. Your friends spend money. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna just say, hey, Chavez, you're a scammer, and that's it. Goodbye. Or we wait until the sea when he's gonna fucking deliver the. Mate, the, the I've thing. been waiting to what see for three years. No, not three years. Yeah, I have because I've well, been following well, the same scam for three fucking no, no. long years, and I. I never. You listen, I told you. Don't I? I, I never. I, I was never involved to this shit. You with, still are. I just told you they're working out of the same bloody building. And you just seem I, to, and you haven't proved that Chavez has no, got a tech. Hyper, no, 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 hyper you show me, hyper Chavez has got a, show me where Chavez works from and tell me why did Chavez wade into the server room to save the server when the servers aren't even in Dubai? Does that not so, matter to you? I, 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 why would I he tell yes, people, I, why would he tell his community <laughs> that he waded into the server room to get his Daddy. computers when they're not even in Dubai? That, Why? That, I agree with you. I don't live with him. I'm not. I'm not married with him. The only thing matters to me is how I get my money back and my friends. You've been money scammed, back. mate. That's you, it. You've been scammed, and so is everyone else. Uh, and you're in these meetings. I, I, you're promoting the scam hope, because you're hoping to get your money back. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. That's not. not that's not true. Believe me. If I was a scammer, I would stay with fucking family. And you know, you Sam are with Sam Lee, you're with his brother. He's he's working out of the same office for the same people, and you're listening. You've only proof that you've got that he's not a scammer is by taking so him. Let me ask a question. Value. Let me ask a question. What's my Let's, motive? Let me ask what is my motive? Okay. okay, let me ask you a question. Well, no, what is my me, motive me, in being here today? Well, and I appreciate that. What do you think? Why do you think I'm here to listen to you and to see to gather the proof? Because you said that you're concerned that you're going to lose your money, and so is your friend. And no, no, and you know what? You know what I told you, and I promise you, I'm going to call him. I'm going to try to get him to a Zoom, you, him, and me. And then I want you to explain to show him all these things, and he may show you also his things. And we take it from there. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Chavez. I'm not the one who. You realise he will make every excuse problem. not to do that. But give it a go if you want. But you, if he doesn't come on a Zoom with me and you, will that be mm -hmm. enough for you? Absolutely. And then you'll realise that he isn't truthful. Well, actually, I I think he. What I heard that he invited you to his Zoom to ex so he can explain, but you refused. He, he put my phone number on the screen and announced to everybody to text Danny to heck that he's got a, a minor. So I received about 20 texts one Sunday morning, and then I managed uh -huh. to find out where it came from and jumped onto the Zoom where he was talking about me. And then I sat there and tried to have a conversation with them, and they just made fun of me. And um, they, he said he'd give me $500 uh, to do his YouTube marketing a month, and he'd pay me $10,000 if I found the contract with a, the bit of paper with his last name on it. So, and then they, and then he said, I don't want to listen to you and kick me out. And that was, um, Richard, uh, the guy that the trucker guy that's on my videos, he was in that meeting. He was one of the ones texting me. So after 12 texts with Richard, the truck driver and me, watching a few of my videos, he realized that he was in the scam. And then, he, I, you know, I've turned quite a few people around. There was a German guy the other day that I spent two and a half hours talking to similar to yourself. And then he realized he'd been scammed. And then, you know, now they send me messages and they give me, um, you know, heads up on what's happening and they help me fight the scam. But, I mean, you you can't, mate, you seem like a normal okay. man. And I'm just saying that you you can't really sit here and say that you didn't know it wasn't a scam because you've got no proof other than a, a an Aave transaction at the top and the bottom. And no one's denying that. I'm agreeing with you. 
but you can't deny the transactions in the middle of the contract you wanted to show me. I've even showed you the wallets where the money comes out of that were created by contracts that Chavez has created. So let me ask you a question now. How come this guy, with his smart contract, getting money from Ave? Can you explain that, please? Because Ave, we have you wrote to Ave? Ave? You would. You will never get the money from Avi if you don't bring a smart contract and they will certify oh, I, I, I know. And, and I know, as I just said, I don't deny that Avi is loaning the money. But Avi doesn't care whether somebody's legitimate business or not, as long as the contract that they produce meets the requirements but, in the transaction. No, no, you've got to – you can't sit here and say because Danny. I'm using Danny. Visa, Visa <laughs> is endorsing my company. That's what you're saying. You're saying because Visa allows the transaction to go through the merchant facility, the merchant facility has a set of ticks that you must apply by if you want to use Visa's merchant okay. facility. And that's what Aave's okay. job is. Aave are not giving credibility. Now, the DAO uh, that he has yeah. registered and it's been struck off because they provided fraudulent information. Does that not alarm ring alarm bells for you? Well, by the way, did you know that he was uh, he was uh, certified by the American authority for the DAO? Yeah, DAO. That's what he I was announced. Say. Yeah, the DAO. So he announced it publicly. Yep. And he said he invited everyone to go and search for it. What okay, What do you think of that? You think well, he made up this? He, are you looking at my screen at the moment? Yes. Can you see the state of Wyoming? Yeah. Okay, so that. is this the day you're talking about? Uh, I can't. I cannot see. It. It's very small. Can you make it bigger, please? How bigger? How do you make it bigger? Uh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, no, okay. no, 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 it's fine. No, it's okay. fine. Cool. All right. So this yeah. is the affiliate marketing 3.1 Dao LLC. Here you go. Yep, and it was registered on the second of the 28th, 2024. And it was approved. Yeah, and look. And what does it say about archives? Do you want to read it for me? Uh, current, this has two definitions depending on the size of the entity. If the entity is active and current, the entity is... Last one. Uh, what's what's the last one? Active and uh, archived. This entity has come to the end of the list and can no longer reinstate. It was archived? Yes. So this is now. And then inactive? Uh, a, a administratively dissolved or revoked. Would you like to know why? No. Go ahead. Okay. So we go down to the bottom. This is this is on the state of Wyoming. I'm gonna. I sent you these links yesterday, but you obviously didn't look at them. So now what you can do is you can come down to uh, public notes history, and here's the administrative action to why they were they were struck off. So if I click on that, hopefully that will open up in house. Uh, yeah, click on the PDF. Okay, so uh, I have to open it, and now I don't know if you're going to see this. Uh, Zoom. Uh, does that load up? Uh, does that bring, have you got the Zoom there? Oh, I'll hold it. Uh, da, 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 da. Mate, I've been in thousands of Zooms. I've been in thousands of them. I've got better things to do with my time. I get kicked out of them as soon as I – I got kicked out of one this morning. I sat in for an hour and a half, and I said to the guy, are you here to understand whether this is a real opportunity or are you here to sell packages with the hope that you're going to get paid 65% of the money? And they cut, they cut me out straight away. I sat there for an hour and a half to get that. People do, like you guys don't want to discuss this shit. You are the one of the minority. So good on you. Now, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I'm happy to do that, and it will be really nice. I'm just, obviously, we're having a bit of a battle with you at the moment because you're in disbelief. But here is the, this is from the registered, um, whatever, the, the, this is the state of Wyoming has produced this. And if you went part, went through this here, it says that they had 60 days to um, get their public identifier uh, in order or they would be struck off. So they had 60 days to do some shit about it, and they didn't. They didn't have a public um, here. Their, remember MetaMask, how they got that warning? So we went to MetaMask and we asked them what the story was with the warning that we got. And they said they, they are fishing for people's meta, uh, wallet addresses. Remember Shava said he was going to become his own Aave flash loan provider because he said people people have their wallets and their money in it. And they, um, think about what I'm saying here. He, he knows how much money people has got in their wallets and he's got uh, them all linked to his platform. And then MetaMask flag him for being a phishing website. And Shabba said this? No, not going, no, not going. Actually, MetaMask called them a scam. Not us. MetaMask said they are running a scam. MetaMask is a pretty big outfit to ask that, to, to make that claim. Met No, no, that's repeated from Shavit. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to listen to that again and again and again. That's repeated from Shavit. You're just a mule. You've just repeated something from Shavit. You don't know that's true. No, that's right. And he's he's pretty good. He's pretty good, and I'm pretty good too. But here's a here's a leader from the state of Wyoming telling us that they provided fraudulent information, and got struck off as a dayo. And your guys are still promoting the fact that they are a Deo. So how does that work? So I think I've hit the wrong button there, have I? So if I go and share that again, I hate your Zoom. It's not very nice. So uh, so we go back to the state of Wyoming. And here's our – so now what have they done? So now what he will show you because you'll go back. So this is affiliate marketing, whatever it's called. And now we'll go to the one that was registered about 10 days ago. And they've gone and registered as exactly the same name. And it's now current. And now what do we do? We have to go back. Uh, we have to go back to, uh, what do you call it? We have to go back to the state of Wyoming and start our whole process again. Because um, we have to go and, and submit all the information that we submitted last time to get it shut down. And this is a well, genuine right company. Now you see the so the, uh, listen to what you're saying. You're telling me this on the 7th of the 16th. Sorry, the 16th. Yeah. of This is a genuine company who's now gone and set up another day. -o, and they didn't chirp about it for three months until they got this set up again. And now they're telling everyone they are, what, I can't, what is it, day -o? Do -o? So you've yeah, got decentralized organization. Yeah. In the yeah, I always get the abbreviation wrong. But now that they, they, yeah, uh, they are uh, initial filing is what they've got. So the initial filing yeah. is all done, and they go to the same people that registered um, tra transit card, and they go to an organization that's you know like uh, the information is these registered agents uh, here. They use the same ones for all the scammers. So if you've been following Transit Card, the same company registered them. So it's just Groundhog Day. And we, we've got better things to do than fill out paperwork with these guys all day long. But you've seen it yourself, exactly the same name and the same registrar and the same entity, and they've just gone and registered a new entity, and now they'll go around and squawk about how they are a proper entity. And this doesn't prove they are, because we've written to the uh, the Wyoming State uh, Secretary of State and they said, we're just a filing system. We don't do due diligence. So, you know, we can't, I can't stop, um, you know, that. It's just as frustrating as it can. So, okay, and what about um, the other one then? Have you still got my screen? Is that still up? Um, Sorry? You can still see my shared screen? 
Yeah, I see. I see. I look at your screen. I see. Okay, so this one here, I know no. this, this is going to be like, oh, but um, this is when Sam Lee was here. Now you used logic. You're a businessman. I've got a, a company, and it's called We Are All Satoshi. Now, why did they change their domain name three times? They they went from We Are All Satoshi dot org, We Are All Satoshi dot AEI, and now they now they're called uh, Was dot Was. That, network. that domain name is only uh, three or four months old. And in here, it tells you the cease and desist refrain order from the state of California, the same state that YouTube's in, and all the other big tech companies, all the social media, the Facebook pages, the YouTube channel, the Twitter account, all this here was under the name of Sam Lee. And they are still, uh, and they, they explain the whole underline of the company, you know, it's six pages, well worth read if you want. And it tells you everything hold, about hold, 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 hold on, hold on, the hold on, Danny. I want you please to show me if there was the this domain was that network belongs to Sam Lee. Well, no, it doesn't. The, the latest. Well, it doesn't. We can't look it up. So you tell me who it does belong to. It belongs to no, no, no. You prove it. Oh, that's what he listen. I didn't have chance to look, no, look for it. You're, but listening, to, uh, he you're said, listening to Jesus. You're listening to Jesus, Good. and you're not you're not no. asking him to prove that domain name's his. Well, I mean, of course, you, look, I could have registered that domain name. A little five year old okay. kid could have registered that domain name. It's not relevant. But Damn what, it, what is relevant really. is the social media that are in the cease and desist order. Now, I would challenge you to ring up mm -hmm. the people that produce this document if you really care about the people that you're taking money from, and ask them whether whether this is the same entity. Is because this is this social media this is that they're old. using. This is old, bro. This is old. This no. is all. Look at the Twitter yes, address. We are all Satoshi. Look at this. Look at this address here. What? YouTube. We are all. Yeah. Right, I'm going to YouTube now, right? Who is this? Can you see this? Yeah. So who's who's um whose YouTube channel is this? That's uh, we are all Satoshi. Okay, now did you notice where I clicked? So I go back to the PDF document, and in here they list all the assets of the company that are associated with We Are All Satoshi, and I just clicked on their YouTube channel, and today there's videos uploaded to the same YouTube channel from Shavas, and you're telling me so. You so you want to say that Sam Lee is still involved in was? What I want to say is the state of California has mm -hmm. done a cease and desist refrain order saying that this, this company is – anyone promoting it in the state of California has to cease promoting it because they are running a scam or a Ponzi scheme. And here are all the links proving that they are doing so. And one of the links I just clicked on, without going to their Twitter, without going to their Telegram accounts, is – still active today under Chavez's control. So Chavez's answer to that was this. And this is what Chavez will say. So on here, uh, the, the, remember this mm -hmm. website. Now, you, do, you don't know some things I, I can tell you, but the guy that was working with Sam Lee, he used to work with um, Vidilook. And he's gone back to England, and he's got a website that looks very much the same as this. And we've tracked $6 million worth of money that has been trafficked back to England via this guy's company. And he used to work with Sam and with um, with Chavez. So now Chavez has gone out here and he said to everybody that questions the fact whether they should continue. Now just think about this for a bit. If Chavez is actually working for a criminal network and he's a puppet, do you think the people who are pushing him, the Chinese people, are going to say to Chavez, we want you to answer that by going down to, oh, you pain in the bum. Um, so there's a disclaimer here, and this is this, this disclaimer is issued by the primary objective of safeguarding the reputation and integrity of We Are All Satoshi. And here, by affixing my name below, I feel me, uh, uh, you know, he basically says that he's responsible for anything going forward. Now, Chavez with no name, who who the hell was that Chavez guy? <laughs> Is he Jesus? No, he's... I mean, come on. I mean, the guy's got no last name. We, I call him Anwar, and now everyone says he's a Shabbos Anwar. I made that up. Anwar, yeah. 
I, I, no, no, I, 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 I think that's his last name, no? No, you don't know Anwar. yet. But I started saying it and everyone thinks that's his last name because everyone believes Chinese whispers. <laughs> I mean, what do you, I mean, like, you know, like, and then I haven't even started yet, mate. Look, I've got, um, we are, we are. Tell me, I want to I ask you a question, please. I want, because last time he mentioned that he had the, uh, a master degree. Did you, did you check if he has a real master degree? Well, how could I find that out with no last name? <laughs> you're, you're the journalist. <laughs> yeah, but look, um, I mean, if, if there's any proof, I'd love to see it. But I mean, I don't, I don't doubt for a minute. He's, I mean, any anyone in India <laughs> mate, gets trained pretty heavily, don't they? I've been to India twice, and I, I I've seen them in the universities. They are, um, they're pretty smart people, and they get the education. So here is a, um, a press release from the Justice Department in America. Three individuals charged for, you know, the billion dollar scam. And in here now, Brenda Chunga. I, 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 I have contacts with the head investigator of Hyperverse. I've been in meetings with the IRS, Homeland Security, and the FBI. I've been in Zoom meetings with them, and I've been doing what I'm doing with you now, showing them what I have. Okay? Now, the Brenda Chunga was brought in for questioning on the 3rd of December. For three hours, she was released back out. Her job was to entrap Sam Lee. Now, a video I just did last, uh, a, a re-released about two weeks ago was that meeting where she was sweating like a rapist. She had a hat. Or I don't think she had a hat on that one, but she was basically trying to encourage the hyper community to trust Sam Lee. And then I don't know why they did that, but then they built up that rapport with the community and Sam Lee. And then the next thing is uh, she's now um, failed on her bail conditions. Bitcoin Rodney was selling his assets to government agents. He was trying to sell his vehicles to government agents, not knowing it. He bought a one-way ticket to go to Dubai. They had to arrest him. He got arrested for drug trafficking. He was into marijuana, so it's not serious, serious drugs. And the other thing he got done for was money laundering. And the third thing he was going to get done for was his involvement with Hyperverse. Those guys didn't have a video of Bitcoin Rodney promoting Hyperverse. I have that video, and I played that video to the, the big people. And that's what I do. They are... The laws of the country, and because this is global, it's very hard to start. I can't stop you promoting it. What I can do is plead with you to say, use common sense. But I can tell you, I have talked to a lot of people. Why would I make this shit up? No, no. Look, I, I'm not down in that. And, and I appreciate what you're doing for the for the whole community. And, and I'm with you, absolutely. Now, did you hear that uh, Sam Lee was in Australia a couple, couple of weeks ago? Bullshit. So how come? What? Bullshit. That's what I heard. No, it's bullshit. I have, I, you know, I work with the senators in Australia. I, I've got 40 of them on my email list. I can email every, they have senators like they do in America and Australia. Okay, there's a, there's a lady, the, the Guardian newspaper. Do you, do you realize, uh, look, Sam, this is this morning. I was in a, that meeting that I wrote that email. This is, who do you think provided, if I go into this article here, right, here's Sam Lee. Australian charged with his connection and blah, blah, blah. Sarah Martin, I could ring her up and bring her into this phone call right now. This is one of the biggest reporters in the world uh, who's done 14 articles. Here they are here. See, ACT. Um, all these here were published with my help. So even in here, you'll find my name interlaced. Um, there's a lady here who lost $100,000. I, I gave it to the reporter. Sam Lee, this is the Amazon video that got them all the traction. Yeah, and you might look at this and go, oh, yeah, I know, I know he's a scammer. But he's in this, he's running the same outfit. Um, even the Stephen Reese Lewis guy, a, a guy called Jack, um, oh, I've forgotten his last name, but he he was working. So this lady here, Vera, is um, I've done videos with her. And this is, uh, you know, this is, this is what I do, mate. I'm not just a YouTuber who, who wants to go into Zoom meetings. I, I, I'm, a, I'm an investigative journalist who find information about people. And then this lady lost $100,000. She was working with Carl Miller. So Carl Miller is a, a, a conflicted pedophile living on this guy's, was living on this guy's land in a caravan that he rents from a guy. I rang up the guy. He told me, that, oh, oh, he's been to court because he smacked some girl on the ass, but they dropped the charges. And then I find it from two other people that Carl Miller is a convicted pedophile and he's on the Australian sex offender list. We brought up his payslip. He's on the dole. He gets $738.60 a fortnight and here he is on here telling people he's making $350 an hour doing arbitrage trading. He's now moved in with an Asian woman 
who uh, uh, and he he has. I've got people who tell me he, he hires and has orgies in his freaking living room. So I mean, I get uh, then I get all the people like Yvonne Henry. I know where she lives. I know her phone number. I know where she works. We've got Kate Longley. I had an hour and a half meeting with Kate Longley, and she's trying to tell me how I should sign up for We Are All Satoshi. This lady here has lost a hundred thousand dollars, and you know. But so, how come? How, well, let me. But how how come people lost this fucking money of hundred thousand? Why? Because she first of all she invested in a, um, a trading platform, and they gave her uh, she put forty five thousand dollars in it. Within two weeks, she lost the lot. Well, and then they, they come back to her and they said, um, look, we're sorry you lost a lot. We'll give you $10,000. She made $100,000 in two days. And then she went to withdraw $50,000 of it to get her initial investment back. And they said, no, we're not going to let you do that. Unless you deposit another $10,000 in, then we'll let you deposit, withdraw. So then she realized she'd been scammed. She'd already put twenty forty five thousand, I think it was. No, she put, yeah, I forgot what it was, but it was around about forty thousand dollars into Hyperverse. Clawed back twenty three thousand dollars. The platform fell over. Then Carl Miller come along, told her to transfer her money from um, Hyperverse into Hypernation, and then he suggested that she tra transferred her money from Hypernation into Diversal. And then v a VAV come along, and she put three thousand US dollars into that. Lost that as well. And then went to a crypto company, and they said they could recover her money. And they recovered one hundred and ten thousand dollars of her crypto. She paid them eighteen hundred dollars to put it into a fake wallet address, and then she logged in and she gave me the login details and gave me the guy to talk to on the phone. He had a great American accent, UK phone number, but talked like an American. And then, long story short, is it was built on a WordPress website, and then um, basically she they asked her for another eighteen hundred dollars so she could transfer it from one exchange to the other, and they would just keep on milking her. But in the meantime. She lost over a hundred thousand dollars with all these opportunities. So she's there's a documentary being filmed at the moment about this lady here and her involvement. Uh, and I've got if you go through my videos, you'll see that picture and her, and you can listen to the story. But in the meantime, you know our problem is this was on the 23rd of December. So then you come along here and you've got um, uh, you know the. Um, what I'm trying to say is is that the Guardian can't publish everything because they're scared of def defamation. Last year, I had a guy trying to sue me in the New Zealand High Court for $3.8 million because of defamation. It cost me $36,000 to defend myself, and then he filed a discontinuance an hour and a half before the High Court judge looked at it. Um, and now he has to pay all my costs, which is a waste of time. But these these are all articles in the real-time paper, you know, about... Well, but by the way, did you hear last time what what Chavez said about you that he's going to sue you? Did yeah, you hear but, that? Yeah, but that, that, he's been saying that since day one, mate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you know, I mean, and the wishy would, I really do. Um, you know, it's just like, you know, it's just um because then would he would have to come out as the entity, um, you know, and and do it. You know, like I, I'm this is me here. So if I go to dehick.com, you will see. Um, what the heck? You, you yeah. have a good name. What the heck? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> that's the name of my podcast. You see, I've got too much. Oh, that's your. Oh, that's not. That's not your real name. The heck. No, it is, but it is also. I've. I've. You know. I've, I've called it my podcast. I've got too many adverts on here. So that's that's what I, who I am and what I do. I, you know, obviously go after people. But these are like um, ABC News. Uh, like you've heard of ABC News, New York Times. Uh, you know, if I open some of these Australia ones. So if I go to uh, what's my, one of the good ones, ABC News. So they um, they did a, a big documentary about Sam Lee. If it ever loads. Um, Unfortunately, this guy is too powerful, man. Nobody can can stop him. Unfortunately. Well, well, I think we can because the Zoom meetings are slowing down. Something stupid at the moment. So I mean, that's that's usually a good uh, good sign. If I open that one there, so this is um, you know, these are the liquidators which I've emailed and and they've lost fifty eight million dollars to Sam Lee's. Exchange. So when Sam Lee, this guy lost 100 grand as well. Everyone loses 100 grand. FTX Australia was the exchange that Sam Lee had. Um, you know, more liquidators. Um, they talk about Sam Bankrupt Freeman. 
you know, uh, the oh, videos. Yeah, that that video there was me. I gave that to them, uh, and there's me. You know, so I'm, I'm not just, um, you know, I'm I'm actually sticking my neck out, my reputation on what I'm trying to do. But you know, I wouldn't mm-hmm. sit here and say, look, because that Chavez has said that he's not part of we are all Satoshi, that I would take him on face value. I mean, in here, if you read these articles, it talks about blockchain global. And I, I showed you that that bit of paper of um you know yesterday of the the start of this business and how it's working and all that sort of carry on. Have I got it still here? I think I've still got it laying around somewhere. Uh, zoom. So if I get this one here, so this is Hypertech Group. So Colin Star Capital was Ryan Jew's company, and Blockchain Global was Sam Lee's. So Colin Star Capital wanted to buy out Sam Lee because he owned forty percent of Sam Lee's company. So four hundred Bitcoin he was going to pay, and one point seven million dollars in cash. And then, then that's where it all went south. They reckon they lost all the crypto keys and 80, $58 million of Australian investment money disappeared. But the umbrella, it's all under is Hypertech Group. HCash Foundation was when Hyperverse was running. Now, remember I showed you the exchanges with the purple and the green? One mm-hmm. of those is for HCash. The green one, or well, the purple one, I can't remember which color goes around. Well, the purple one's BTC Cash. It's the same software, same organization. You've got... But, but who created Hypertech Group. So I've got a video of the Hypertech Group guys in a round room uh, conference with 20 of the minute, and we've got Sam Lee, Ryan Ju, and all the Chinese people discussing Hypertech Group. And Hypertech Group organizational chart is... Because here they talk about the hyper community. So the hyper community is you guys the community of multi-level marketing and all these other products, the mining, the e- e- NFTs, you know, the the wallets. You know, it's all, this is four, if not five years old now. Uh, you know, Mars Home. You know, so now I've got videos of, like I've got people who are coming to me, whistleblower lawyers wanting to know where Ryan Jew is because they're trying to trap him so they can get the money back. If, I don't know why they think he's still got the money. Um. But I'll show you something else, mate, because this is you if we go to Millinote. All right. Millinote. I don't see your, your screen. Uh StreamYard. I think it's that one there. <coughs> is that working? It's coming. Oh yeah. <coughs> so Millinote is a database which I allow, you know, government agents to have access to. And in my persons of interest, Ponzi schemes. So just to give you an idea, all those ones on the red are other schemes very similar to this. And all the ones in the black are people that I've seen promoting that I haven't investigated yet. Then when I I click on um, persons of interest, uh, this is a list of people that I've seen promoting um, opportunities to people. Um, I just clicked on the wrong one. So, so Danny, let me ask a question. You, 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 you're not doing network marketing anymore. Well, I've never, I've never done network marketing. Uh, I owned a, a a company which helped small businesses come together as, and work together. So, if there'll be a window cleaner, a lawyer, an accountant, a finance guy, a mortgage broker, a real estate agent, and they would get together in groups and have coffee together in the morning, like B and I. Oh. Yeah, that, that's the company I yes, used to own. Yes. So I used to about have about 150 members, and they uh-huh. I used to help. So I'd, I'd be scrutinizing businesses who wanted to join my company. I owned the company. It was a franchise. I owned the franchise, and I used to sell little franchises to people who wanted to run their own business groups, but nothing like money network marketing. So in, in here, so if I, if I went into Sam Lee, then I, I've basically got Sam Lee's life in here. Any leads I get, his history, um, the people he's associated with, uh, informants, uh, screenshots, cartoons of where he lives. So his driver was providing me information of where Sam lived. So I know exactly where Sam lives. I've also got you know photos of him historically. Um, you know we've got. Um, 
you know, everything I want just on Sam Lee. So if this, if I go into like images, for example, so this is um, him with Brenda Chunga, uh, Clayton Ford, um, Keith Williams. Uh, that's Sam Lee's mother. That's his daughter. Um, that's his wedding. This is babies. He's had um, three, three under. Two, he's got three kids under the age of three with three different women. Um, that's his business partner, who actually got um, that. He's in the newspaper in the Guardian about this guy that got beaten up and raped. That's the business partner that actually made that happen. So this guy's locked up at the moment, getting raped in prison. Um, this is a check that he wrote out for um, just short of a million dollars that bounced. And that got Sam Lee locked up for three nights in Dubai. And there's meant to be two court cases pending. So you come down here, these are all Sam's wedding photos. That guy there with, with his arms out like he's Jesus, his name is Khan. And Khan is his scam buddy. And they, they run multiple scams together. And that's been proven. But I haven't gone after him because I, I've only got so many hours of my day. So if you come down here, this is his wife. I've got her passport. Um, you know, I know what she does. Uh, these are correspondence with Sam saying he's not a millionaire, uh, billionaire. Um, these are all his documents. This is Scam's say, scam. Sam's um, first wife photos. You know, this is when he this is when he was normal and he was trying to be somebody in the blockchain. You know, but what what is interesting is if I go to home here and I go to uh, say whistleblowers, uh, yeah, whistleblowers. And I go to maybe a lady who is called Stacy Yen. Uh, this is the lady who provides information to the United Nations. Uh, and she has been asking me for information. Uh, you probably won't see that now. Uh, Miller note. Uh, Zoom. Does that work? Yep. Uh, not quite. Did I get the right one? Hold up. Let me just share something here. So this is uh this is a bit more heavier than um than we should, but this is uh oh shit. Did that go? Can you still see that? Uh no. Okay, one minute please call it. So yeah. Daniel, so. I'm getting I'm getting tired, man. It's one thirty p AM. Oh yeah, my, like me my, my eyes problem. are I'll get it closed. No, you're right. But um, these are all photos and videos of people in human trafficking compounds, and they've got connections to Ryan Jew. And these are videos of people who have been beaten up, who are forced to work and do things against their wills from Cambodia right through to, um, you know, literally United Arabs. And so I'm, I work with these guys, and I provide them information, um, and they help. We're, we're fighting this battle as a, as a group. And my, my hardest battle is actually convincing people they're not part of a criminal network. And th that's really what it comes down to, really. But you go to bed, mate. It, yeah. This this is in Dubai or what? It's in Dubai, Cambodia, uh, Malaysia. Uh, there's seven. I've got maps of the compound where they actually are. And these this information I just flicked up on the screen, we've literally have been put into a nice bound folder and given to the United Nations. Now, the lady who did that, I've been on the phone with her, just like you, talking to her, and she's help, asking me for help in tracking down Ryan Drew. And she, you know, and we've got, you know, active people out there going after these guys. So, you know, where is, uh, let's just use logic. Where is Sam Lee right now? Why has he disappeared? And what's he doing? Is he not doing Vend anymore? So he'll be just re, re, he'll be working for this group of people called the Hypertech Group. And Shabas, we've got a video of Shabas saying that he works for Hypertech Group. And then all of a sudden, there's been a change of management, just like a new CEO. And Shabas has come along and said he's now the new CEO of We Are All Satoshi. And all the money that was drained out of the Vault Horizon or the advertising budget of, he said, $260 million has disappeared. And it got drained. And he watched it, got, he said in his videos, he watched it get drained but he didn't want to stop people from withdrawing the money. And that was bullshit because it wasn't mathematically impossible for anyone to be entitled to take out that much of the money because it hadn't matured yet and the project hadn't got to $100,000 for Bitcoin. So it's just, you know, it's just lie after lie. 
Chavez claimed that that the money uh, that uh, Sam Lee stole the money. That's what he said. Yeah. Now, who, what is the truth? Nobody knows. Again, look, my my priority right now, as I said before, is to get my money and I get my people's money. I'm not fucking promoting anything. We are doing all this meeting to discuss how we get my our money back. Yeah. That's why I said to you, unfortunately, last time, because we were waiting for Chavez, not for presentation, for to answer the questions. But he is and a narcissistic what, guy, mate. He's a narcissistic, well-worded, clever individual who knows how to play and act. And I won't, it's like saying Hitler's going to come along and give a speech to the people. I'm not going to sit here and watch Hitler do another amazing speech. And then it's herd mentality. He knows how to incite. He's like Donald Trump. He knows how to excite a crowd. And he will literally, you know, get the people. He creates doubt. And this is why I'm a disruptor. Because I'm not going to let Chavez. Chavez wouldn't do it. If I sat here and went through the 20 claims I gave you last night with Chavez, he would interrupt me, gaslight me, and tell me he would change the subject and he wouldn't answer the questions. You, you no, asked, no, no. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? As I said, I'm going to try to get him to a Zoom. You're going to be there. We're going to do three of us. That's it. Yep. And let, let him let him explain what he has to explain. And if he, says, says, if he says no to that? Well, listen, we have we have nothing to lose. We have to we have to try. Yeah. Listen, we okay. have to try. Well, give, give it, give yeah, it a I'll go. And I, uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, you know, but he, he will. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I just. Uh, well, I'll eat my hat if he does. But um, if you can think you can pull that off, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. And then I'll go after. Listen, his next, okay. And then I'll go after his next guy. <laughs> what was that? Then, then we'll go after his replacement. Ah, look. Unfortunately, uh, listen. Uh, everyone today try to get you know some extra income, and we see at the beginning this is good, this is good, this is good. Yeah. Nobody knows what's behind, and unfortunately, look. You know how many scams we've seen every single day. There is tons of scams. I told you, I mentioned to you today how many. Just look, Omega Pro. I'm, I'm sure you know uh, of this. They 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 were running their scam for four years. They scams. I think two hundred million dollars. Yeah. As uh, so, um, Validus, same shit. Uh, Next Gen, same thing. You know. We, we, tons of we we global. Of, Have you heard of we we? Yeah, global? exactly. Yep. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Uh, they run out of the same office as as um as uh, Sam. Yep. Can, remember and Cal TLC because tell you know, me the TL. You've got um TL, Amanda, TL Amanda Lee, Keith Williams, uh -huh. Kalpish Patel, uh, Clayton Ford, Dears Amy, Brenda Chunga, Bitcoin Rodney, uh, Sam Lee, Chavez, all the same mate. <laughs> And that, you know, and I'm going to spend all my time fighting them for what reason? <laughs> to help you get your money back. Just, you know, just don't don't give your money away. I, I, do you know how I make my living? No. I, I, I do drop shipping. I sell products I don't have. That's what I do. Oh. Okay. So, what, what kind of products? Oh, a whole lot of things. Any cell phone accessories to um, coffee products to baking products. Just, you know, and I, I you know, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm entrepreneurial. I've been working for myself for thirty plus years, you know. So I'm not against having a passive income. And you know, now what I do is I teach people how to run their own drop shipping businesses. But I, I've I've got a bit of a passive income, not enough. But I'm I do this YouTube thing for seventy to eighty hours a week because I want to become a That's YouTuber. And I, I want it to sustain itself. But I still haven't figured out how to make money. But one day I will, and maybe it will be from selling my story to Netflix or whatever. But in the meantime, I still I, I believe that you should be passionate about what you do. But the idea of telling somebody that they can buy a five hundred dollar license, and Joe has said this multiple times because we've got him on video, um, and make f up to fifteen hundred dollars in a day. I mean, how can people say that? You Look, know? what what he's saying, what he's claiming, Danny, that this guy, and again, I don't know this guy. I I knew him just after Sam Lee when when he got introduced to us to you know to the community. And he said, this guy, uh, he looks like a genius. He said he has, you know, talents. He has, you know, 
ideas, and he wants to change the world of, of network marketing. That's why he called it Affiliate 2.0, because he's also, he's, he had enough with this bullshit businesses and, and scams. And, at, so at, that's at, why. At, at the age of 27 years of age. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know that's just not right. That's just it's he's stuff. young. He's young. He's uh, not like us. Listen, or the the fifties. Yeah. He's still young, you know. Yeah. No, it's just anyway. I, I, you know, like I just do this too. I'm, I'm passionate about what I do, and I, you know, uh, I get accused I see that. of doing this for, um, you know, just for YouTube stuff. I mean, and also, you know, like I was in a, that meeting that I showed you the email uh, to earlier on. Um, it's a bunch of New Zealand people trying to get together, all the governments of Australia, New Zealand, getting together in a Zoom meeting, trying to tell us that the fraud is coming from the banks. And I got in there and said, you guys don't know, you're not involved in the real world. You have no idea. You're just trying to keep your collar, white collar jobs. You're just, you know, trying to be PC. And you've only got 42 people in a meeting. And then they got up to 60 people. And I said, this is useless. I could have got a thousand people in a meeting if I was running a scam meeting, you know, uh, you know, helping people. I said, you just, and they kept me out of the meeting. <laughs> so, so it was quite funny, really. But um, in the meantime, they emailed everyone's email in an email, and they put everyone's email address in the email. And this was meant to be net safe. New Zealand's best security company has just given me seventy email addresses of all the big government departments that we should have attended. So I just sent them an all email. That one I sent you, and you know, it's fucking useless, mate. It, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. All right, mate. You it's, get it's, it's a crazy world. Yeah. It's a crazy world, and I hope. Listen, even though I hope that his business is gonna, because I I hate to see people losing money, and I hope that listen, we're gonna give him the the doubt. We're gonna Why? give him the chance. You're gonna give Satan. No. You're gonna give Satan the doubt. No. Let's get him in, in the room. No, no. Yeah. Hold, hold on, Danny. Danny. Yeah. Okay. Number one, thank God, the vote, we suppose everyone's supposed to get the money by September or even before. It, it, I don't think that the, the Bitcoin is going to go to 100,000 before September, but let's say maximum. Look, September is, is in, in, in two months. Is, is, is that the 100 then, days up then, is it? 500 days? No, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. He said, yeah. but it's going gonna, it's gonna to finish by, I think, uh, September 24th, 25th, something like that. Do you, so do you know, it's not, it's not just out of deal. curiosity, you know, Casher Bank, Sam Lee is on the stage promoting Casher Bank at a, uh, a conference. Look, this guy, and, and you know, and I told you, I told him in his face, Sam Lee, I don't care if you're a millionaire or billionaire or multi you're still a fucking scammer. And I told him. But don't you think it's it. funny that so, Sam Lee was I, promoting Casher Bank and now Chavez has decided to put the money into Casher Bank? <laughs> Well, again, let's. You heard, you heard yeah, that. Mate, I, I waited for. Um, I, I've already waited for different. Uh, we've already been down this road. Like, um, you know, Boomerang was meant to be released on blah, and it, you know, it's just that it's called stringing people. In the meantime, what I don't know if you've seen the Super Wallet address. We didn't bring that one up, but we're what we were watching. Um, we've tracked three hundred and sixty million dollars in the last seven months. We were watching two hundred and fifty dollars a day when they were in Dubai opening up boomerang we were watching two hundred fifty thousand dollars a day going into the platform so every day the, the, at the moment we're watching twenty thousand dollars being paid out in expenses and they aren't getting the twenty thousand dollars in but they were on average getting between fifty and one hundred fifty thousand dollars a day so as long no, as they keep the stretching out and going off to september they're just looking at that money coming in they don't care what they they'll just come out there and tell you a story and as long as that money keeps coming in, we can see that money. Look, what I can tell you right now, 99, probably 99% of the people who are involved right now, they're not bringing new people. They're just waiting for him to launch so they can get their money back. I can tell you this. Well, it's, uh, the, you know, the real sad thing about that is, is um, I've got to look at the screen, mate. This is, this is a shocker. You, because, can't, you can't deny this. Um, this is the um, when it ever loads. So this is the Tron. This is the super wallet address for We Are All Satoshi, right? It's got the least amount of money I've ever seen in it. Is that four hundred? Yeah, it's four hundred dollars, isn't it? Yes. So this is the money going out. 
500 that goes out in 500,000 uh, sorry five um 5,000 and 10,000 and 15,000. So this is the moving money out. Oh, I lie. So there, So this is just in the last two days. So this is bleeding like a bitch at the moment. We've got around about, I don't know, $28,000 has been lifted out of the platform. Uh, and then if you look at the in money, you'll see that it's for We Are or Satoshi. Um, most of it's $500 and $50. I don't know why they've done 42 there. But if you went through here, most of that money is um, for people signing up for We Are or Satoshi and then buying an arbitrage trading license. So if it gets a bit more sillier, if we come down to here, this is when they've, they're, what they do is they wash the crypto and move it from one wallet. So this is a wallet address with one cent in it. And if you come down to here, you can actually see that $2.7 million was transferred out to Binance. And they brought it in and money laundry, it was broken into 2.2 million, 2.4 million, 2.5 million. And then it's gone straight out to Binance, might as well be at an international airport, so to speak. You know, that's that's the reality of it. It's just money, this is all from, and now anyone that has to track this money would have to go and go and follow it like a, you know, it's just horrible. You just can't. So every day Look, we're watching these addresses that, that and they're going to dry up. He, he, Danny, he just said that that Polygon is done. So Arbitrum is supposed to be launched by the next week. So let's see. So if no, he launched... But he, said, he said Polygon was overloaded. Yes. And he said that Polygon... So look, seven seconds here, mate. Every... This is... um We're ca catching 100 transactions a minute at the moment. And these... Yeah, but yeah, but, but but compare hundred hundred to to hundred thousand were, were so far, you know. So I can come. I've um because he claimed there's one hundred twenty five thousand people, and ten percent of people are using their trading license. The rest of them have already figured out it's it's not the real deal. So one hundred twenty five thousand people have signed up for a, a a wallet, and um and now we track. Now see these here, boomer offline. These are the these are the so that's what we've got there. So these have been tagged by me. When the system was offline, they were still doing trades. So if, when the system was offline for four months, we tracked the people that were still doing trades. Uh, Boomer, this is just a person like you probably. Um, and then the Boomer, we've tagged over two thousand people, and we've watched them. And on we've got uh, we've got everyone's you know wallet addresses. Um, so, you know, we've tagged people where we are. I'm just trying to find a good one here at the moment. So, um, yeah, but what we're getting at, only 10% of people that bought these licenses are actually using them. Uh, you know, and that no one's doing a trade over $60 and no one's getting paid more than 60 cents. That's what and he said, because, only... because right now he said that uh, most of the, 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 the trade opportunities are small. We don't care as long. Look, for someone, let's say to put five hundred dollars, we don't care. Is going to go five hundred at the trade or fifty as long as he can make the money. That's what people want. It's going to take five hundred at a time or fifty as long as this robot makes money. That's arbitrage. Okay. This is not and, arbitrage. Man. Look at this. Check this out. This guy here. Mm -hmm. uh, how, do, how do you explain this arbitrage trade then? Six dollars sixty-five is what they traded. Mm -hmm. Six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. Uh -huh. Okay, look how much money they made. Fourteen hundred eighty-nine. Yeah, I've got fifty transactions like that. How's that? How's that arbitrage trading? Was that some mathematical sum that was on the website not calculating right on the day? You know, you know what? I'm going to tell, I'm gonna the, tell the, you how we explain it. I'm going to tell you how he explained I've it. I've heard it. I've heard it numerous times. And, and Did, you it's hear? Not... Did you hear what he said? Yeah, I know. He's saying oh. that it was, um, uh, yeah. Well, well, what, okay, what did you say? You tell me. I've heard okay. It. What he said about this, because we're asking this question. He said sometimes people, they launch or we, or some shit coins. And shit coins start with one platform. Yeah, for, this is a for, stable for no, 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 but these are stable coins, and that's why I remember now. No, that, no, 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 I'm not no, talking no, stable no, coins. I'm talking no, shit no. coins. But the one that this guy's trading is a stable uh, coin. Well, show me. 
Hold on. Actually, let's 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 find let's, let's find out. Okay. So well, he uh, borrowed six dollars sixty five. Yeah. And then oh, he um, got to USD. I'll go to. Hold the hold. I'll, I'll go to the hold other on, ones. Let's... We've got uh, fifty transactions to look through, and I can show you stable mm -hmm. coins. I can show you USD Tether. That is um. That is um. Well, it's right. impossible to do. Impossible to do arbitrage with the you know. But that's kind of return on a stable coin. And that's what they um. Awesome. So if I if I went along here, it's a bit hard on this Zoom thing because normally I'd open up a whole lot of tabs. But let's go to private name tags, and then I go to wallets. Um, so we've got Mark. So this might interest you more, actually. Mark's wallet. I think that yeah, Mark Mark figured out that it was fake. So Mark um, was basically always picking the same trades and getting the same results. So these are the ones here. So if I went through and said one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and we'll go seven on that one. So Mark was traded three hundred and eight dollars on this and he got paid out three dollars and ninety three cents. And then if I go to the one next door to him, which I'm hoping we'll be able to flick onto that. Does that change? Ah, oh, no. Hold it. That one change. Yeah, so uh it's it's all up the walk. Um what yeah, well so he basically traded ten times for the same amount of money. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. On those, you know, a thousand, ten thousand times. Yeah, but we've got, absolutely. we've got we've got we've got transactions on both. We've got um yeah. Uh, transactions on with people have gone to stable towing. And that what I'm getting at is somebody will come along and say, right, I'm going to trade $300 on Tether and they'll get paid out $3.28. And then they go a different time, pick the same USD Tether, same $300 and get exactly the same result. And this guy, Mark, was on a video and he was showing um, Carl Miller the fact that every time he did the same trade, got the same results. How can it be arbitrage trading on multiple um, no, different days? Right. And no, and then Carl come back and said, hey, we know that it's been doing this since day one. No, and that's that mean, okay, let, let's put it this way. Unfortunately, uh, we, we're missing a lot of answers. And the best thing to do is get Shafiq. you with his answers would you would you do the business or not i wouldn't i wouldn't invest but i'm i, I don't need to invest to know whether it's true or not and i'm i i, I wouldn't call it a scam but, if he could prove it not but i, I don't invest exactly. yeah so i wouldn't, Why not? I wouldn't i'm not looking for an investment opportunity regardless whether it's good or bad okay so yeah. at, okay but I'm so to let's let yep exactly so let me tomorrow. I'm gonna to try to contact him. I hope he's because last time I think I think personally, was he confirmed that he was coming to our meeting? He confirmed it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, probably he was there. Probably he saw you and saw no, all the mess. He, and then he, he started. There's no way of we had fun that day, <laughs> but there's no um there's yeah. no way um. I mean, he, he doesn't uh, stay away from, you know, it's just he has not been turning up at meetings. It's it's pretty common. No, no, be, be, no, no because because we were like 20 people waiting for him, and he confirmed, I think it was like 5.30 or something like that, and everyone was waiting because everyone was ready with the questions. Yeah. But unfortunately, when he came in and it's the whole shit started anyway. Yeah, but, but I don't. Uh, I don't. Um, I, I think I, I like your attitude, and I think you've got the right mindset to actually go past this. But use some common business logic. I mean, you know, just think closely about who he's been associated with. I mean, and and think about if Chavez had to sit there in court and prove that this wasn't a scam. What evidence would he bring to the table? 
I mean, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the Dayo. We've shown you the Dayo, and he would say he's a Dayo to your face right now, wouldn't he? And I've just shown you that he's been struck off by the state of Wyoming for his first Dayo, even though he's just rushed, whipped out a new one. Again, he may he may have some explanation. Again, I'm not Chavez. So, so the state of Wyoming. The state of Wyoming will come back and see the reason he got struck off because he had 60 days to fix it, and the initial information that they provided was fraudulent and not correct. Can I tell you something? We'll, we'll ask him this question. Absolutely. Yep. That's yep. why I said, please be prepared. Yep. And believe me, if he comes to the Zoom, I'm not even if he we, we'll, we'll ask the right question because I know I want clarity more than anyone. Cool. I want, because I, I put my money as well. So I want to see where this money goes and how other people can get their money. Listen, him, according to him, he said maximum by September, the whole project will be okay. ready. And, uh, and just, thank and God. That would be great. I, thank I, God from the, I could yeah. even be undercover That's in the meeting. Saying. I could be undercover in the meeting and I'd keep myself quiet until you gave me the okay to come in. But yeah, I'm gonna ask don't, make, don't, don't make noise. Question. Don't one make question. noise. Yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> one big question though is who yeah. has all the money? Who has anybody made any money out of this and made money like they're claiming? Out of the 125,000 people that have been involved in this, has anyone actually made money like they have claimed from day one from we are Satoshi? No, but, look, so you've simple, got a hundred there's eighty thousand people in We Are or Satoshi. There's a, meant to be 125,000 people signed up for Boomerang. That's over 200,000 people. Has one of them made more money than they put in? Are the, maybe they get commission. Or are they all waiting for the bridge to open? And if that's the case, yeah. think about that. Who's got um, the money? Chavez. Who was Chavez? Okay. Last name? Uh, according according. <laughs> Come on, mate. You, listen, you're the journalist. <laughs> you're, oh, yeah, you're no, the journalist. No, I'm, I'm, I'm reporting the news here, and I don't think no of anyone's listening. But, I mean, who's got all the money? Who's promising that you guys are going to be made wealthy by trusting Chavez? Yes, that's, that's what he was saying from day one. And let's see. Thank God. Again, thank God September is not that far. Mate, September is what yeah. two months. And what happened with yeah. the launch? The yeah. launch date of Boomerang. What happened to the launch date? It was meant to be back in March, May. Yeah, because they April, were April, and he, he just keeps stringing it along, and he'll do the same yeah, yeah, with but this. Then, but then, then between me and you, this is again, this is new technology. Again, no, according to Chavez, I know no, you've been told it's new technology. There's no AI <laughs> bot. There's no AI <laughs> bot, and there's no arbitrage <laughs> trading. All you can see is a loan from a bank or a credit card company like Visa, and you see that money going back. That's all you can see. You All the rest has been told to you by Chavez. The same guy that said he swum into a server room to save the – can you imagine saying to people he waded into a server room to grab – can you imagine I any, hear, any, I, any, I ISP, that, any ISP letting somebody go into the server room to get their computer that was in water that he waded into to get the server – to take it out. Can you imagine anybody even claiming that they did that with a straight face? Superman. Super. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super sharp, isn't it? No, it's got, I've got to go to yeah, you. Get, hey, I enjoyed the chat. I really appreciate it. I, I think it's my cool. pleasure. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Look, we, we have to work together and, and I hope, listen, I hope that Chavez will deliver and I hope nobody will lose the money. That's my concern. Yeah. And I think your concern as well. Thank you, my friend. Have a good one. All right, mate. Take care. See you, dude. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay. Now, I don't know how much of that you heard or whatever we did, but anyway, if you did hear that, this is a private video. So if you uh, have watched it, uh, you know, don't share it, but uh, let's keep that private until we get our meeting with Jarvis. But, you know, I just wanted to record the meeting. I'm sorry that might have been some parts of that you didn't hear. Uh, because I was switching between Zoom and the sound doesn't go through and blah. I should, <coughs> but anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you.